This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy II for the NES. Last time we were heading towards the tower and got swallowed up by Leviathan, and we fought our way out of there. And in the process, we have Richard as our fourth party member instead of Layla. Richard's a dragoon. So now we're going to try to get into the tower here. And... I don't think, yeah, that wouldn't happen if you don't have a crystal rod. Hmm. There's some different music here. Anyway, let's head on in. It is a tower, so I would imagine it's just going to be fairly straightforward floors heading upward. Got werewolf and imp. Okay, the ends aren't very tough, at least. Werewolf's a little beef here. <laughs> if I remember right, this is going to be a fairly long tower. Floors might not be as big as some of the other dungeons we've had to go through, so I guess maybe it'll leak a lot about the same. A cane? Okay. Seems pretty worthless for this point. Okay, there's a staircase leading up, but let's go ahead and explore the rest of the floor here first. Alright, it seems like two of our guys should be able to finish one of these werewolves off. And as far as magic goes in here, I think if there's anybody, if they have any weaknesses, I think most of them are going to be weak to fire. But there will be a few exceptions. There are a couple of them that are probably weak to ice. And... Another can. And here's one of those walls we can go through. Ah, yes, one of my favorites, the Gigas here. Let's see how just all physical attacks do against him at this point. I think we finally should be able to kick his ass here. Yeah. Those guys were the bane of my existence for quite a while here in the playthrough. First, them, uh, the ambush and that treasure and the warship. And then we had the groups of two of them in the Cave of Disc. These bombs aren't a pushover either. Plus, if you injure them and don't take them out in one round, they might blow up on us. white robe. I don't really have anybody that's specifically like a mage or anything, so I would assume everybody can equip any type of armor. Okay, yeah, that's better than the power armor even. So he's up to 60, he's at 66 for defense, he's at 56. Is the power armor better than the flame armor? No, it is not. It will probably be better than the quartz, though. Let's check out the left side first here. Okay, there's a treasure. Bighorn. Um, this guy was a 
boss in one of the dungeons we went through. I think it was... It was in the tropical island, maybe? Or the cave of Mycidia? I don't... I think it was the tropical island. Yeah, they're still pretty tough. See if Richard can finish him off. Yeah, he barely did any damage to Richard, even. Another cane. Alright, these are all guys we've fought before. it up this way and see how we do. Alright, those two took care of theirs. I think we'll need one more round yet. Unless I get a couple of really good critical hits here. Nope, not quite. Let's keep going. Different colored levels, it looks like. Um, this one's a little bit more of a maze, it looks like. I think these are all guys we've faced before. Spectres and chimeras and flowers. Enough. All right, this goes to a couple of treasures. There's a door over there. Flame bow. Flame spear, which I already have, I'm fairly certain. Yep. Let's see if we can get one of the bombs in the first round and take out the Gigas. I got the bomb at least. Alright, there we go. Well, I think I'm gonna go for that door over there here first. Let's see what else is on the left-hand side over here. Alright, these guys again.
There's another treasure over there, too. Hey, look, it's an empty room. This floor is a little bit more of a pain in the butt than the first one, just because the routes are more restricted. Okay, looks like it's making us go all the way around to get there. Back to where we started the level. One thing about this place, I suppose, is that if you're having tr trouble running out of resources, it wouldn't be too hard to exit and come back in, because the floors you've explored already, it'd probably be pretty quick to get back to the next floor. Because it's the out of the way searching for treasure that'll take the longest. Although, the stairs are quite a ways away too, if it's where I think it is, it must be down. If I take the path down from here, that would probably lead to the stairs. Actually, I'll see if Furion can finish off the top one and have everybody else target the bottom one. Nope, not quite good enough. Not enough on either count. Well, I guess we'll just go two and two on these guys now then. Yeah, I would assume one more hit on each of them would be enough. And there it is. Okay, we're getting power up for everybody. This is probably going to be another cane. Ah, flame shield. I have one of those equipped and everybody else has diamonds, so... Uh, these guys will actually use the fire to take them out more quickly. Let's see what else is down here. And hopefully if this doesn't go through, there's nothing else on the bottom right. Because I'm kind of cutting that off here. These werewolf battles take a little longer. Okay, yep, there's the stairs, and doesn't look like there was any other treasure over there, so good. Thank you. 
Alright, let's go. Third floor out of probably, what, six or seven floors, I would guess? And a bunch of doors here, and we have, um, floor tiles that give you damage. I would assume it's going to be the same as in Leviathan. Yeah, it's not causing a ton of damage. And two more empty rooms. And here we have a Basilisk. I don't think we've seen any of these guys yet. But not too difficult. Especially on his own. Two more doors. That one's empty. Looks like there's a waterfall up there inside the tower. Okay, did that just... Looks like that just teleported us to a different place on the same floor here. There's a stair leading up the middle. Let's look over to the other side here first. And we got a treasure. And there's one up there too. Flame sword. Is that better than the earth one already? Oh yeah. But I can give that to Richard then. We get to improve two, two of our characters that way. Yeah, I should probably see how much HP I'm losing. Yeah, we're down about a hundred. With as much as I have, I'm not too worried about that. See if we can get both a werewolf here. stats there. Wow. Take one step. Let me go more than one step, please. Yeah, that was like three or four, right? <laughs> Either bad luck or a really high encounter rate. Probably a little of both. I mean, it's possible, I suppose, that they are scripted to have that many battles along here. Just because we're in the narrow corridor of this staircase here. We got some new Marlboros there, it looks like. They're a different color than the other ones I've faced. What are they called? An L Marbo 
Mullibor. Mullibor. Yeah. Just sounds odd saying it that way. Marlboro. Not sure what the L would stand for. Large? <laughs> well, they're all pretty large. Boy, this is a gauntlet here. He took care of that one on his own. Using level 16 charm. Wow. Okay, so yeah, it's a good thing to take these guys out quickly, I guess. Alright, so they got two of us confused. So hopefully the other two will take care of this. Well, I guess she only hit herself and she can take quite a bit of damage. No. I would, I would assume confusion should go away at the end of battle. I mean, I don't see anything indicating that they are still confused. Flame armor? I think, yeah, I have one of those. And it was better than um, some of the other stuff we had. Is it better than this black garb? Nope. But... It'll probably be better than the power armor. Yep, there we go. And a flame helmet. I don't think I've seen one of them yet. Who has the lowest defense out of my main three? It better than the spiral helmet? By one. Is that better than the gold pin? By one. Okay. I'm assuming that's going to be some kind of a challenge or a boss of some type. Well, let's just make sure everybody's hopped up. Mage changes shape. Okay. What do we got? Ah. It's a fire gigas. My top two both have fire weapons, so I don't think I want to attack physically with them. But ice should damage this guy pretty well too, I think. Oh yeah. Yep, that didn't take long. Alright. I 
and now we got a blue floor, which I would assume that probably means this is like an ice level. There's a treasure. A nice shield. Um, I'm not sure if ice is better than the flame one or not. It's probably about the same. Yeah, let's just use magic here. Remember right, this just leads to a dead end with a treasure. Now well, maybe this is the ice floor. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure those are going to be damage tiles again. An ice spear. Is that going to be better than the flame one? I would guess probably. Oh yeah. Well. By that logic then, I guess... I would assume the ice shield's probably better too. No. Vamp girls and a mantis? I mean, we faced off against the mantis, I think. I don't remember if we fought the vamp girls or not. No, well, they're not too tough either way. Not for my party, at least. And one of them made it. That one's pretty close to being down, so... I'll have the tougher... ...characters attack the Mantis. Yep, there we go. Let's keep going on this floor here. Here's another treasure. Hmm. Just trying to decide how I want to... Divide my resources here. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about what Richard's doing in this one because he's not really gonna have to contribute much. I don't think my fire here will take out these guys in one hit. Although Leon's magic is more powerful than the others. Yeah. One of them might be good enough, but just in case it's not, the other one will cast it as well. Alright, then it wasn't good enough.
And we got too much junk again. Well, so this is all stuff I could buy. Just in case there's something special about those canes, I'll save one of them for now. Ice gloves. That brings it up by one. And he's got a giant glove. Yeah, so... We're good there. I think, before I keep going on, though, we're actually at a pretty good spot to call it there for today, though. So next time, I'll pick up here, and we'll try to finish the Tower of Mesidia. But remember, if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.